Hey guys, I'm the Rabbit Unicorn, but you can call me Rabbit, and today I'm back with another Minecraft video. Uh, today I'm reviewing the Pet Buddies mod for Minecraft 1.6.4, and this mod has been completely redone in a new update. Um, so for those of you who have played the mod before in previous versions, now you can kind of know what to do. And for those of you who don't know about the mod, uh, you can just kind of learn what it's all about. So what the mod does is it adds a little friend into your game that can be any mob and have any name. Um, and they don't really do much, but they're just kind of fun to have a little companion. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find one of these, and this is called a Unity Shrine. These spawn randomly all over the world, and they're pretty common. I've found a few, and I'm pretty much right next to where I spawned. So that's the first thing you're going to need to do, is you're going to need to find one of these Unity Shrines. And the second thing you're going to need is this. It's called a Unity Statue. And this is crafted like so. Two uh, blocks of clay on top of a stone block, and then two sticks. That will give you a unity statue. So that's pretty easy to craft, so it doesn't make it too difficult, which I think is good because in previous versions of the mod, the buddy just spawned in with you. And I think a lot of people are going to like that you don't have the buddy by default because some people might want the buddy in some worlds, but not in others. So to get your buddy, you're going to want to take your unity statue and right click the unity shrine. And it's going to put your buddy in the shrine, and you're going to right-click it, and it'll say the statue got stuck. So that means you can't take it out. Once it's in there, it's in there. So make sure that you're ready to do what you want to do. Um, it won't get destroyed or anything, and it'll be there for as long as you leave it, but I don't think there's really any way to get it out. So this part, I'm not going to show you all of them, but uh, I will show you one and just let you know how to do it. But I think the best part um, is kind of figuring out these on your own. So... Different buddies are coded to different items. So right here I have a pork chop. If I right click the shrine with the pork chop, it'll start loading. It'll say 3% charging. And the pork chop will give me a pig for a buddy. Um, and different items will give you different buddies. Uh, so basically, as you can see, a pig, um, a pork chop will give you a pig a egg will give you a chicken, and then there are a few mobs that you can get that aren't actually from uh, vanilla Minecraft. So you can right click this to see how much it's charging, and uh, I don't want to have to wait for that, so I've got one already set up. So if I take my pig statue, which I'll, you can also just you know wait for that to be done to get it, and right click the ground, I'll get a little buddy that says the rabbit unicorn's buddy. And th those little parts are all the same in survival mode. Um, but this is the only part that's different. So if I right click my little pig, then it brings up this little area. Uh, I get the achievement. This game does, uh, this mod does have its own custom achievements, which I think is a very nice touch. And you can do a few things. You can change the buddy's name. Uh, I think that that's super useful. So if I want to name him Sir Piggleton, and, uh, I can change the skin too, um, for if it's going to be tiny you. I'll click submit name. And as you can see, you get another achievement for that. And then I can either press Escape or X, and I'll have Sir Piggleton. Now, there are a few other things you can change. You can change the mob. So the mob, um, you can go from all of the normal Minecraft mobs, uh, so you guys can just kind of know what those look like, to a tiny U, which will just basically copy your skin. I think that that's awesome. And uh, you can go to a few other mobs that aren't in vanilla Minecraft. So I'm going to show this to you guys. So first, there is the dragon, which is in vanilla Minecraft, but I think he just looks awesome. Um, there's also the wither, which is in vanilla Minecraft. I just wanted to show him off too. And there's a few more that aren't in vanilla Minecraft. So these guys' hitboxes are a little weird. They're usually around where their stomach is. But there's the RPG bull, which is basically just an angry cow with horns. So it's a male it's a male mm. cattle? What's what's a single term for a non gender specific cow? Huh, I don't know. Um RPG boar, which I think like those look awesome. I think these are awesome. And uh, I think these are from their own separate mod that is made by the same person. The uh, RPG spider, which is a spider that's like a cave spider, but bigger, that has bent legs. Um, and a harpy. I, I don't, I don't even know. I just, I, I don't even know. Let's, let's not get into that. The Moa? Mao? Mo? I'm not really sure how you pronounce that, but I, I like it. I think it's kind of cute. It reminds me of that bird in Up. 
um, a dwarf, pretty cool looking, an elf, and a orc. So those are all the different kinds of mobs. Um, there are, of course, uh, you know, all of the normal uh, Minecraft mobs, vanilla Minecraft mobs. Um, also, they don't all just go down like to scale. Like as you can see, the bat, for the most part, is the same size, but the ghast is much smaller. <laughs> uh, so there are pretty much all of the mobs that you can find in Minecraft. Um, these guys don't really do much, but they are invincible and they'll follow you around as long as you want them to. As of now, I don't think that there's a way to get them to stop following you, um, but you know, that's fine. I don't really think that anyone would want to. So as you can see, this is probably done charging, and then you just right click it to get the statue. And then you can just right click it on the ground like I showed you earlier to get your buddy. Uh, this is a really cool mod. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can mess around with it uh, on your own. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.